three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how have you been? As you can tell, probably from my voice, you can tell I'm a little scratchy. Uh, I've been out with a cold probably for the last week and a half. Haven't ventured out much, haven't done any videos, anything like that. So here we are today. And I am uh, right by... Uh, let me turn this around so you can see. This is uh, right by Red Square right next to it and I found me a little quiet little corner where I could come and just kind of sit down and kind of talk to you guys a little bit but this week is a uh, Maslin pizza and this is without a doubt a pagan holiday uh, a pagan ritual and festival in Russia Maslinitsa actually um, predates orthodoxy in Russia so yeah it's uh, pretty pretty interesting but what Maslanitsa is is it celebrates the end of winter and the coming of spring yes Maslanitsa is actually a conjugation of words two Russian words Masla meaning butter and Itza would be like a suffix to say like um, something created from butter or something like that, Maslanitsa. Anyway, uh, Maslanitsa is celebrated most famously with pancakes, Russian pancakes, blini as it's called. Blini is a round pancake and it symbolizes the sun. And there was actually sun this morning <laughs> which got me all excited to come out and uh, record a video for you guys and I get out here after a like 35 minute uh, metro ride and it's overcast uh, it's supposed to be sunny today and tomorrow but it's getting warmer it's uh, probably about 38 uh, 39 degrees Fahrenheit it's supposed to be 40 today which is great but it's um, good good weather because the snow is melting and um, it gives us a lot of opportunities to come out and just enjoy the outdoors again not that we did not enjoy the outdoors when it was you know snow but you know it's time for spring it's definitely time for spring Here I am vlogging on this huge, heavy Canon R6. Just decided to bring it out, try it out for today. Shooting in Canon uh, C Log 3 today. Uh, never really been able to grade this worth a 
darn. Uh, hopefully, we've got uh, some secret sauce that we can try. I'm doing a currently conducting a review of a plugin for Final Cut Pro. It's also uh, available for DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere. And so I'm really excited to uh, do this review. And we're going to use it on this footage and we'll see what it looks like. But yeah, so this is it. So Red Square is right back there. And I'm headed out in this direction, which is going to take me toward... It's going to take me out toward the Bolshoi Theater. And I'll be able to show you that here in just a minute. But boy, this camera's heavy. Anyway, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So in this week of Maslanitsa, there is so much going on, especially here around Red Square. Uh, there's a big festival that's happening this weekend and uh, should be pretty cool. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, I got something to show you guys. I got something to show you guys. You see that right back there? Right back there? That's the Bolshoi. And that's where we're headed. So let's go check it out. Yeah, the Bolshoi Theater is just a stone's throw away from Red Square. So Bolshoi Theater right there behind me as we get the security squad keeping Moscow, Moscovites, and all its visitors and citizens safe. Yeah, thanks for these guys, man. You know, no matter what country I'm in, I support blue, you know? Because blue is blue. I don't care what country you're in. And maybe some might be better than others. Ah, whatever. I support blue, period. And there's a Bolshoi. This street is really, this is Ochotny Riyad. Ochotny Riyad Ulitsa. And <laughs> uh, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like crossing the street today to get you closer to Bolshoi. Maybe another day. Anyway. Uh, we're going to do some more photo walking around here, and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. It's a little bit different than what I've done before, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, which I think is <laughs> I think it's on this side. Who knows, man? One of these days, I'll remember which side. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me, and uh, hey, enjoy the walk around Ochotny Riyadh <laughs> Ulitsa here in Moscow, Russia. Okay. And because I love you guys, my loyal fans, subscribers, and friends, I decided to cross the street and come here to the Bolshoi Theater. Here it is. Spectacular place. And on this Maslanitsa weekend, It's extra special. I was fortunate to attend 
a performance of the Nutcracker on Christmas Eve here at the Bolshoi. All I can say is what a magical, magical moment that was. I've never been in the ballet, uh, never even wanted to know about ballet uh, until my daughter started <laughs> ballet. I kind of got interested in it, but uh, to see a professional ballet and to hear Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker performed live and with the beautiful beautiful choreography of uh, ballet. It was incredible. Incredible. Now if I told you I knew the history of the Bolshoi, I'd be lying to you. But I believe I remember reading or hearing about that during the Great Patriotic War, during World War II, this building was actually camouflaged uh, somehow uh, so that uh, from the air it would not appear to be uh, any target of value. Uh, I'm not too sure, but um, it has endured. It has endured in all its beauty. You come to Moscow, you've got to come see a performance here at Bolshoi.